Breastfeeding is a natural process with many benefits for both mother and baby. However, some mothers may encounter difficulties during breastfeeding. In this video, we will discuss some of the most common breastfeeding challenges and how to overcome them. Common Challenges Latching It is important for your baby to latch correctly during breastfeeding. Improper latching can lead to nipple soreness and milk production problems. Correct latching is crucial for a pleasant and nourishing breastfeeding experience for both the mother and the baby. Improper latching can lead to various problems such as nipple soreness, milk production issues, and mastitis. Benefits of Correct Latching For the baby, ensures your baby receives enough nutrients and grows healthily. For the mother, prevents nipple soreness and milk production problems. Makes breastfeeding more enjoyable. Signs of Correct Latching Your baby's mouth is open with the tongue down. Your baby's lower lip is turned outward. Your baby's chin is touching the breast. Your baby is sucking not only the nipple but also the areola. You can hear swallowing sounds as your baby feeds. Tips to encourage correct latching. Initiate breastfeeding your baby immediately after birth. Hold your baby in a comfortable position. Align your baby's head and body. Your baby's nose should be level with the nipple. Direct your baby's mouth towards the breast. Ensure your baby has a proper latch. Signs of incorrect latching Nipple soreness Cracked or sore nipples Low milk production Insufficient weight gain in the baby Resolving incorrect latching issues Seek assistance from a healthcare professional or lactation consultant Trying different breastfeeding positions with your baby may be helpful Ensure your baby's mouth is properly directed towards the breast Ensure your baby is sucking not only the nipple but also the areola Resources to support your breastfeeding journey Healthcare professionals, your doctor, nurse, or lactation consultant can provide information and support regarding breastfeeding Breastfeeding support groups, talking to other mothers and sharing experiences can be helpful Learning the correct breastfeeding technique may require time and patience Be patient with yourself and don't hesitate to seek help from a healthcare professional or lactation consultant Breast milk production Solutions for overproduction or underproduction Breast milk is the ideal food containing all the nutrients babies need during the first six months Some mothers may produce more or less milk than their baby needs In both cases, steps can be taken to ensure your baby is adequately fed Underproduction of milk increased breastfeeding frequency Try to breastfeed your baby every two to three hours Don't neglect nighttime breastfeeding Learn the correct breastfeeding position Ensure your baby is breastfeeding correctly. Consume plenty of fluids. Consume at least 2 to 3 liters of water or fluids per day. Eat a healthy diet. Follow a balanced and nutritious diet. Consume foods that promote breastfeeding. Foods like green leafy vegetables, fenugreek, fennel, and chamomile can help increase milk production. Rest. Sufficient rest and stress reduction also increase milk production. Use a breast pump if necessary, you can express milk using a breast pump when your baby doesn't want to breastfeed or you can't breastfeed. Consult your doctor, if your milk production continues to be low, consult your doctor to use medication or supportive foods. Overproduction of milk breastfeed your baby frequently. Breastfeeding your baby every 2-3 to three hours helps balance milk production. Shorten breastfeeding sessions, do not allow your baby to breastfeed for more than 10-15 to 15 minutes. If your breasts are too full, you can relieve them by expressing some milk. Apply cold compresses. If your breasts are too tight and full, you can apply cold compresses. Consult your doctor. If you're experiencing overproduction of milk and it bothers you, consult your doctor. Remember, every mother and baby are different. Your milk production may also vary according to your baby's needs. The most important thing to ensure your baby is adequately fed is to breastfeed frequently and regularly consult your doctor. Breast Engorgement, Symptoms, Prevention, and Treatment Breast engorgement is a common condition that occurs within the first few days after birth. It is defined as the filling and tightening of the breasts with milk. Breast engorgement usually begins 2 to 3 days after birth and peaks on days 3 to 5. Symptoms Tightness and hardness in the breasts Pain and sensitivity in the breasts Swelling and redness in the breasts Leaking milk from the nipples Prevention 
Breastfeed your baby frequently, every 2 to 3 hours. Use the correct breastfeeding position. Apply cold compresses to your breasts between breastfeeding sessions. Consume plenty of fluids. Wear comfortable clothing. Treatment. Breastfeed your baby frequently. Express milk by hand or with a breast pump. Apply cold compresses to your breasts. Use pain relievers, with your doctor's recommendation. Take a warm shower. Massage your breasts. Breast engorgement usually resolves within a few days on its own. However, you should consult your doctor in the following cases. If your breasts are very painful and tight. If you have redness and swelling in your breasts. If you have a fever. If there is inflamed discharge from your nipples. Note, this information is for educational purposes only. If you have a medical issue, please consult your doctor. Mastitis, Symptoms, Causes, and Treatment Mastitis is inflammation of the breast tissue. It is most commonly seen in breastfeeding mothers, but can also occur in non-breastfeeding women. Mastitis is usually caused by a bacterial infection, but in rare cases, it can also be caused by fungi or viruses. Symptoms Pain, redness, swelling, and warmth in the breast. Fever and chills. Fatigue and weakness. Pain in the nipple during breastfeeding. Clots or inflamed discharge in the milk. Causes. Cracks or sores on the nipple during breastfeeding. Blockage of milk ducts. Excessive milk production. Inadequate rest and stress. Weak immune system. Treatment. Antibiotic treatment. Drink plenty of fluids. Rest. Use pain relievers, with your doctor's recommendation. Apply cold compresses to your breasts. Breastfeed or express milk frequently. Mastitis usually heals within 7 to 10 days with antibiotic treatment. However, it is important to consult your doctor before starting treatment. Prevention of mastitis. Breastfeed your baby frequently. Use the correct breastfeeding position. Allow your breasts to breathe between breastfeeding sessions. Keep your nipples clean and dry. Get enough rest and avoid stress. Eat healthily. Thrush, breast and oral candidiasis, symptoms, causes, and treatment. Thrush is an infection caused by a fungus called congida albicans. It is most commonly seen in breastfeeding mothers on the nipples and in babies' mouths. Symptoms in mothers. Pain, burning, and itching in the nipples. White or cream colored spots on the nipples. Flaking of the nipples. Sharp pain in the nipples during breastfeeding. Symptoms in babies. White or cream colored spots in the mouth. White plaque on the tongue and palate. Cracks in the mouth and lips. Restlessness and crying during breastfeeding. Refusal to feed. Causes. Use of antibiotics. Weakened immune system. Use of steroids. Excessive moisture. Failure to clean the baby's mouth and nipple properly. Treatment. Use of antifungal medications, with your doctor's recommendation. Keep the nipples and baby's mouth clean. Use breathable clothing and nursing pads. Drink plenty of fluids. Avoid sugary and acidic foods. Thrush usually responds well to treatment. Both the mother and the baby should be treated. If left untreated, Thrush can recur or lead to more serious problems like breast inflammation. Prevention of thrush. Wash your hands frequently. Clean the baby's mouth and nipples before and after each feeding. Use breathable clothing and nursing pads. Take probiotic supplements while using antibiotics. Avoid sugary and acidic foods. Weaning, the process of stopping breastfeeding your baby. Weaning is defined as transitioning your baby from breast milk to formula or other foods. The process of weaning can be challenging for both the mother and the baby. With proper planning and implementation, you can make this process easier. Timing of weaning. There is no single right time for weaning. The World Health Organization WHO, recommends that babies receive breast milk for the first two years and continue breastfeeding after two years. Some signs indicating that you and your baby are ready for weaning include Your baby adjusts well to solid foods Your baby sleeps through the night Your baby's interest in breastfeeding decreases The mother returning to work or wanting to stop breastfeeding for other reasons 
Methods of weaning. There is no single correct method of weaning. It is important to choose the method that is most suitable for your baby and you. Some methods of weaning include cold turkey weaning. This method involves completely stopping breastfeeding all at once. This method is generally not recommended because it can lead to breast engorgement and blockages in the milk ducts in the mother. Gradual weaning. In this method, the frequency and duration of breastfeeding are gradually reduced. This method helps the baby and the mother to adapt to weaning more easily. Nighttime weaning. In this method, nighttime breastfeeding is stopped first, and daytime breastfeeding is gradually reduced. On-demand feeding. In this method, your baby is breastfed whenever they want. Your baby's desire to breastfeed will decrease over time. Things to consider during weaning. Choose the most suitable method of weaning for your baby and you. Spend plenty of time with your baby and show them your love. Ensure your baby stays hydrated by consuming plenty of fluids. Provide nutritious foods to meet your baby's nutritional needs. Come your baby when they want to breastfeed. If you feel fullness and pain in your breasts, you can relieve them by expressing milk. Seek help from your doctor or a lactation consultant if necessary. Tips and recommendations. If you experience any breastfeeding problems, do not hesitate to seek help from a healthcare professional or lactation consultant. Talking to other mothers and sharing experiences can also be helpful. Get plenty of rest and eat healthily. Be patient with yourself and try to enjoy breastfeeding. Breastfeeding may be challenging, but many mothers can overcome these challenges. The information and tips in this video can help you on your breastfeeding journey. This video contains helpful information for you after baby is born the first hours after birth and this video how can a newborn baby be held securely? We recommend watching them. Your support is crucial for us and the rapid growth of our channel. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thank you.